Olá, boa tarde, bem-vindos a mais uma das conferências do ciclo Novas Perspectivas. Nós hoje temos connosco Yuko Azegawa, que é curadora-chefe do Museu de Arte Contemporânea de Tóquio. Vocês têm convosco esta folha de sala que, que vos apresenta um pouco e que vos fala um pouco do percurso da Yuko. Uh, a Yuko é, enfim, para além de, de, de ser curadora-chefe deste Museu de Arte Contemporânea de Tóquio, é também professora no Departamento de Arte e Ciência na Tama Art University em Tóquio. Uh, tem sido membro do Conselho de Arte Asiática do Solomon R. Guggenheim Museum em Nova York. Uh, é diretora artística do Inujima Art House Project e curadora da Art Basel para os Hong Kong uh, Encounters, que decorreram agora em maio de 2014. Tem, tem, feito, tem sido responsável pela curadoria de inúmeras, inúmeras exposições uh, que, que abrangem várias áreas uh, de ação, alguns exemplos estão aqui também uh, nesta folha, temos a Bunny Smart Des uh, Design to Touch the World, Architectural Environments for Tomorrow, uh, foi também curadora da Matthew Barney Drawing Restraint uh, e uh, foi curadora na 11ª Bienal de Sar Saria, Sajat e Conselheira Artística da 12ª Bienal da Arquitetura de Veneza. Uh, não vou estar a ler, é extenso o currículo. Uh, isto é, é, enfim, ela foi autora também de livros como uh, Modern Woman, Human Artists at the Museum of Modern Art, uh, pelo, editado pelo Museu de, de Arte Moderna de Nova York, uh, entre outros. Isto deve assim, algumas indicações acerca do percurso da Yuko, só para vos dizer que ela... Uh, poderíamos falar de vários aspectos da arte contemporânea e da arte contemporânea japonesa em particular. Nós uh, decidimos convidar a Yuko para nos falar sobre esta relação entre arquitetura e arte, porque este ano, como, como porventura também já, uh, já se terão apercebido, nós temos algum, algumas atividades relacionadas com a nossa programação que focam uh, este tema. Agora já... Em, em, no sábado teremos uma, a abertura de uma exposição sobre arquitetura e arte com obras da, da nossa coleção de, de, de livros de artista e no final do ano uh, o projeto SAL. Uh, o que a Yuko Azegawa nos vai, vai nos falar sobre uh, Sana School e o Atelier Boho Bo não sei se estou a dizer bem, mas acho que sim, e, boa, boa. Uh, e a partir de, da prática destes, uh, desta, da prática arquitetural destes uh, dois grupos de trabalho, irá-nos falar das práticas interdisciplinares que, que aproximam a arte e a arquitetura no Japão. Uh, Resta-me dar, vou dar as boas-vindas à Yuko e passar-lhe a palavra muito rapidamente. Nós vamos ter uma conferência, cerca de uma hora mais ou menos, e depois abriremos espaço à discussão e a perguntas uh, da vossa parte. So, thank you very much, Yuko, for being here with us uh, today. I just made a very brief presentation of your uh, uh, talk and of your um, Uh, work also, so I'll, I'll come you and invite you to 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 go to and to speak to give your conference. Thank you. Hello, uh, bon dia. Because uh, when I working at uh, in São Paulo Biennial, because I made an exhibition Sana in São Paulo in Brazil, and uh, because I always and uh, saying to people from the morning to evening bon dia, people laughing. So and uh, my understanding Portuguese is very very poor, but I like this word very much. 
So, and uh, thank you very much for uh, coming. I'm so pleased to be here. Also, I really appreciate and uh, host my talk and uh, um, the uh, museum cerebrus, also the director, Sudan Kutter. I'm very honored to uh, give a talk about an uh, architecture from Japan, also some relation art. And uh, such a great building is uh, Mr. Caesar Bereiras and uh, was built. This is my long time dream to be here. Is that the uh, sound translation is fine, this speed? Is it too, fa too fast? Okay, hi, good. So, yes, sorry, and uh, sometimes I speak very quickly. Hi. Hi. Uh, today, Sana, I make uh, some proposal about the topic and uh, my talk because Sana, I've been working at the Contemporary Art Museum Curator Sana, for 25 years. But I do uh, two kind of architecture projects uh, with a certain architect, which was firstly in uh, uh, 1989, it's, uh, I worked with uh, Isozaki Arata, Arata Isozaki, to make a uh, first contemporary museum in Tokyo, uh, in Mito. It's a uh, north part of Tokyo. That was the first uh, contemporary museum in Japan and the public. So that is the beginning. I just learned that uh, it's a great achievement, and uh, you know, how we talking with an architect to just thinking about an, uh, um, how the museum space, also relation with an audience's artworks. Because that museum is a contemporary museum in Mito, that an, uh, first an museum conceived to be an uh, installation by artist. So that is very installation based. So that was uh, my beginning. But secondly, I just working with uh, Sana and a uh, um, very uh, promised uh, Japanese architect unit, Kazuyo Sejima, Rue Nishizawa. And uh, they are leading architect in many ways. So not only kind of Japanese architect, also as well as internationally. Because uh, they learn uh, from languages and uh, new languages and uh, also Rem Kurhas also some kind of modern masters, because the most important things are, you know, they just uh, learning, uh, you know, the way to the make a uh, design process and what is architecture is, what the architect task is. It's a comp completely new kind of platform they create. I'm gonna talk about uh, Sana first, and also another, you know, important architect at Bauau. So, but both they are, you know, and um, representing a new and uh, tendency. What and uh, how architects going to be today? What their contribution? What their role to make a relation with the society, also people, and uh, also space as a program. This is uh, first, and uh, I'm gonna show and uh, quite, you know, an uh, early works by Kazuyo Sejima designed. It's a Saishunkan and a Seiyaku. It's a kind of, a, you know, and a medical, you know, the company and uh, make uh, some medicine. So it's a woman's dormitory. And uh, because uh, this is very beginning, the early 1990s she made. So this is an, uh, almost an every year, 100 young women just to finish the school, they just come together to live together. This is women dormitory. The idea is, there's some, uh, eto, I can see, these are the bedrooms, bedrooms, very uniquely, and uh, they make an, uh, some, you can see some part, this. Because uh, these are uh, the rooms. It's uh, quite tiny rooms and, uh, with uh, some bedrooms. But then, uh, it's like uh, almost a prison. But then, uh, the center is some public space. But then, uh, what's unique point is Kazuyo and, uh, put a uh, toilet very discreetive way. Because uh, they are just located at different, several different points in toilet. Because uh, this so-called toilet tower uh, toilet tower, yeah, it's inside the toilet. Because the uh, uh, most important things, normally those kind of dormitory, and uh, architect and uh, put a toilet somewhere invisible, not be visible. Because the uh, uh, toilet is very important for our life. 
because uh, when the, those kind of women, young women, just wake up in the morning, they immediately go to the toilet. So in the uh, individual room, so there's no toilet. So it's a kind of they have to share toilet. They're just moving and, uh, you know, and uh, one way to go to a uh, toilet. It's not so interesting for Kazuyo Sejima because uh, Kazuyo is more kind of, the, you know, and uh, let women uh, walk around to go to the toilet in the morning. This is very simple idea. It's something funny, but it's uh, something kind of stupid. But uh, for me, it's very interesting because uh, she just wants to see those kind of scenery, also kind of action, behavior to people, how people move in the space. This is also something happened in the space. This is very original ideas and she just conceived about architecture. Because an architecture also related to form, also layout and architecture program itself, but it's more important things what happened inside. How architect and just given uh, some new and uh, way to behave, new way to act into the people. So this is a kind of also all the kind of places, the kitchen, also gathering place to be shared with the center. Afterwards, and uh, I met with uh, Kazuyo as an uh, introduction by um, Arata Isozaki, and uh, that was in uh, uh, 1997 almost. Uh, I was invited to be a uh, chief curator, also founding artistic directors and uh, one museum. That is a 21st century museum in Kanazawa, in Japan. And because in Kanazawa is a very local city and uh, located the Japan seaside, only kind of, the, you know, and uh, uh, 400,000 people live. I just think about what is a 21st century means, you know, because and, uh, it's quite important to working with a maker museum with an architect from beginning. I have to clarify the, what the concept is. Because an uh, idea is and uh, flew from, from three M's to three C's. Because the key word is in uh, the 20th century, I shall coined three M's. One is man, not kind of the, you know, and uh, gender and uh, uh, sexuality as man, it's a kind of individualism also very competitive and uh, those between individual. Money and uh, capitalism, also materialism. Those kind of three amps, you know, really and uh, um, kind of, the, you know, developing and making big development in the 20th centuries, also great civilization would happen, but also cause a lot of problem. As you know, it's what happened 2001, it's a 911 day. But then uh, afterwards, we, 21st century, we have to think about how we can get rid of this uh, situation and uh, how we make a soft landing to think about how we live together, surviving together. So I just coined the three C's. One is coexistence. Second, collective intelligence. Third one, consciousness. And uh, after materialism. Because and, uh, I just try to avoid uh, spiritualism. Because the spiritualism world is an uh, be led by an, uh, some an, uh, particular ideology, also some particular religious beliefs. That I uh, just uh, an, uh, coined the question is uh, what is consciousness means, also to be considered in a discussion. Because uh, when I talked to it, uh, um, Sana, and uh, because uh, Sana made a proposal, to, uh, the competition proposal is uh, there's a quite interesting kind of proposal. And, uh, but then uh, among the you know several proposal, because then uh, it is more most important things for me, because then uh, I have to discuss with an architect also all the other people and from beginning about the concept, because then uh, those kind of sons and the new generation of the architect and uh, who just appeared in the 1990s, and uh, comparing like a uh, form maker also iconic architect like a uh, Frank Gehry. Because and he's become very famous and uh, after and uh, Guggenheim Bilbao, and uh, because those kind of iconic architecture like a sculpture architect and are very much relevant in uh, some media time, because now architect and become one of the media and a uh, target also very landmark place in the city, because and uh, also architects are really much related to an uh, information, also you know and uh, those kind of the special 
idea is uh, media itself. Because and, uh, now it's an architect, very simple, like a form, and uh, by concrete, by other material, like a uh, beginning of modernism. Because architects are very much related to a uh, kind of information time, also virtual reality, also, you know, those kind of internet and um, kind of the um, network times. And we really have to think about what an uh, architecture program going to be, what the forms come from, what to be considered when just started about an architecture. So within this consideration, and uh, uh, Sana also, as well as the kind of, the, you know, predecessor Rem Kruhaus, they was called an uh, um, program architect, also diagram architect. Because for instance, like Rem Kuhlhaus, and uh, he just started to make a lot of research because in his background, he used the journalist. Because the first time he made amazing uh, research and uh, he just uh, tried to make a uh, program, an uh, architecture program afterwards. But then also Sanas, and, uh, much, much influenced by Rem Kuhlhaus in many ways. But what's a big differentiation is because the Sana has a kind of different kind of process of interpretation about those kind of uh, research materials into the art and architect form design. Because and, uh, which is very important to be a program architecture because of how much they just uh, reflecting their um, research. Also, you know, their thought and uh, into the, you know, uh, transmitted, also transformed into the architecture form, also architecture geometry. So this is a kind of process, and uh, I just want to talk about that one case, because uh, I just working with them and for four years and uh, make this museum. So and uh, first we just think about, because uh, what this going to mean, contemporary museum going to be, what the basic function of the art museum and, uh, right at this moment. One is a uh, museum is a memory archive, which is very important. Museum has a collection. Also, even if contemporary museum is a, it's a showing an artworks, presenting artworks, to continuously asking people what is the value, what we have, what art in our time. Afterwards, and, uh, people and uh, museum curator get the feedback of the audiences. Also, they just consider about what our on, uh, what really artistic creation in our time to make a uh, history, to make a contextualization. But second is a laboratory, which is also very important because a uh, um, museum is uh, also places experience and experiment. Because uh, always uh, you know, something new and uh, something very, and uh, you know, experimental things happen to be tried. And also, you know, always, always uh, you know, people just approaches an avant-garde driver and uh, laboratoriums to be functioned as uh, those kind of our contemporary and uh, life. That, uh, you know, I just uh, very quickly and uh, showing an, uh, um, what's happened in a uh, 21st century museums and uh, space and uh, architecture making process. You look at uh, these statistics and, uh, you know, very simple ideas. Because the program is art museum plus art community center function. Also, additional purpose: this small city have to promote in cultural tourism. Also, updated the local and uh, um, cultural industry, and uh, also there are a lot of craftsmen live there, and uh, they really have to update it what is uh, contemporaryness, what that contemporary culture is. Also, a lot of educational purpose for future audiences for children. This is the city. It's a very traditional, super conservative city. None of them knows, uh, you know, like uh, Andy Warhol, John Cage, something like that. So this is uh, people and uh, doesn't have much an uh, ideas, but the contemporary art is. This is a museum. Uh, you might see uh, some of the ideas because uh, the very basic ideas. This is a big roof. You can see on uh, different volumes sticking out. Because and uh, that's indicated, uh, you know, all the gallery has a different proportion, different height, different shape. Means and uh, you know, each and uh, space has a character. It's very ideas, very polyphonic. Not a singular ideas. Not kind of one volume to be continued. That uh, when you look at this space, 
One is very important. This is totally transparent all the around. This is kind of openness. And also, this is an, uh, some each and a character be together, um, but uh, each and a different kind of character be together. Those kind of to be and make uh, one harmony. That's a very polyphonic ideas. Because uh, those kind of visibility and uh, quite important, immediately people understand what this space is, what meant to be. This is a process of the construction. When you look at this, this is like a uh, you know, flying saucer just immediately landed in the middle of the traditional city, looks like. But the question is, when you're talking about many kind of clients say, and uh, we really have to make kind of dialogues between a uh, city and museum and architecture. So what are dialogues? What are make relations? Uh, we have to consider about a uh, social environment also natural environment, also you know those kind of you know, historical you know and uh, cultural environment. So what the relation is? So we can make an, a very and Japanese style you know traditional you know like a museum, and uh, we can make it. But then what make uh, what uh, ideas and uh, and uh, relevant and uh, conversation with and uh, those kind of history of the city, and uh, we just do uh, totally different approaches. This is the process of the, you know, this is uh, a construction site, and we just started making a, uh, you know, art project with Daniel Brand. Also, some of the pre-event, and uh, we just borrowed some uh, historical and uh, houses and uh, showing and uh, local and uh, craftsmen and uh, Murakami and Anishka Kapoor together. These are, uh, you know, models. Because and, uh, I just want to talk about how important the diagram is. Because the diagram is and, uh, kind of the, this and the two-dimensional kind of drawings diagram itself. But the diagram is highly and, uh, uh, conceiving the ideas, but the concept. But the concept is and, uh, being realized in a certain architecture you know, and uh, design, also layout. Also, you know, and uh, responding and uh, lots of the architecture program, because and uh, when I, because uh, we are talking a lot about and uh, um, what is a keyword to make and uh, for make a diagram, because uh, there's a sharing, participate, evaluation, socially interactive, intellectually provocative, lots of keywords in between, because most important things for us, because in uh, this museum and. Uh, doesn't have any hierarchy between art and people, because and, uh, those kind of mutual conversation between an uh, art and also curators and and the people is very important. We have to curator have to round the people. Also, people have to be engaged, participate into the process of appreciation, also understanding to create and uh, product new knowledge. This is all the very simple ideas we just starting. Hi. Oh. Okay. Hi. Because uh, now when you look at uh, how the process uh, diagram is going to be, because in the process uh, we're just uh, talking a lot, we sana make uh, one, more than 100 uh, models with the paper. Uh, we just roughing. This is like a uh, looks like a uh, pizza, you know, like a Mondrian pizza. We just done uh, one hundred, but even if we don't remember which is what, so but uh, you know, with this kind of process, and uh, we just making this and uh, uh, diagram. But for instance, and uh, I just show you one example. This is a uh, corridors. What means corridors? You can look at corridors, and uh, people just woke up. It's for transportation, people just walking. But then also corridors can be exhibition space. Corridors also the uh, rest of space the people, also the, uh, the people come together. Because and, uh, we just uh, look at and uh, investigate and uh, one word is corridors to be multiple function, multiple meanings. In that process, we just thinking about and uh, this, making this kind of diagram which is very exciting process because and each space is had uh, this is entrance 
but also can be in uh, also different kind of places. Also, this can be an uh, you know exhibition space, and uh, you know lots of kind of ideas uh, coming up this process to making uh, these diagrams and uh, to um, understanding, also interpreting, and uh, what the uh, corridors means. This is most important thing, the uh, axis, axis vista. What I talking about visibility, because and, uh, um, architecture and uh, the space itself talking to the people, what this place is, what the concept behind that. So that kind of abstraction process is very important, but the concept should be clearly and uh, to transmit to the people, because we are talking about what the democratic museum, what the kind of you know and. Uh, um, museum open. That means uh, we just understood museum has to be seen from this side to the other. Because we're just standing here, you can see the uh, city outside. So that means, uh, you know, idea is museum in the part of the city, also city in the part of the museum. We immediately understand this visibility. Also, idea is uh, flexibility, because uh, when just uh, make this and uh, planning, we are criticized because and uh, some of the very famous directors and uh, modern contemporary museum and uh, they say that yeah, this building is no flexibility because and uh, all the kind of size of the rooms also be and uh, um, determined because after it's uh, submit and uh, this each kind of the rooms you know there's no kind of flexibility in between that was one criticism. Because, and, uh, but and, uh, we just sorted out. Because and, uh, when you look at a uh, big, big and, uh, kind of space, and uh, sometimes, and, uh, you know, a uh, museum make uh, walls and uh, depend on the exhibition design. Because that is one flexibility. Yes, we can do it. But and, uh, another flexibility is we really have to think about how people walk around in between rooms. Because and, uh, this is one example. One exhibition, and uh, we can use this space. The other exhibition, we can use that. Because uh, it's totally confusing for people. People just uh, beginning and uh, totally annoying because uh, people just lost uh, where the, this exhibition continue. But again, and uh, people just reached and uh, you know, find one room and which they found very interesting. They just uh, willing to go back again. But uh, at that time, they enjoyed their lost. Because and on the way to and find their favorite place, also they can see other things. Also, a lot of kind of potential. That means and also flexibility and um, ideas is to be and interpreted many different ways. What means the flexibility is, and also um, these ideas make a different shape of the rooms and also based on some economy. Because and when you make a huge space make a uh, construction walls, it's very much expensive, particularly in Japan. And to make uh, one wall, uh, it costs uh, you know, uh, 20,000 uh, uh, euros, something like that. But uh, again, and, uh, when you make exhibition finished, uh, we have to destroy that. It's really kind of, you know, and, uh, um, very much and, uh, kind of difficult for the economy. So that to avoid those kinds of, you know, and, uh, um, Kind of the, you know avoid those kind of the, and uh, those kind of the, you know and uh, um, kind of ruthless expense and uh, we just uh, try to make these kind of the places because and uh, also this is elevators we just an uh, elevators up but uh, we have to move up those kind of artworks put inside that means and uh, all the corridor spaces and just allocated the one small car you know to be moving. And uh, in these corridors, this is ideas. We saw Toyota's car, the Carola, the name of the car. So we just uh, make a uh, simulation and uh, with a Carola to just uh, driving around. So it's uh, possible or not? Because also this is actuality. Because uh, normally it's a uh, big exhibition space and uh, there's one kind of loading deck also to be elevators up. We have to immediately go and uh, bringing artworks inside the space very easy after you make a constructed wall. But uh, this is a completely different ideas, yeah. 
So it's a delivery to and each and spaces. We really have to be practical about that. Also, this and you can see a variation and how space is going to be used. That means and when you come to the museum, each time you had a different kind of experience because you have to walk up a different way. So this and you know and uh, uh, new experience and. Uh, each time you come to the museum, and uh, it's very important for us. This is storage and the basement. I just want to talk about uh, very basic ideas. This is a uh, pay areas. People have to get a ticket, enter. So these are uh, all the kinds of the places, peripheral areas is, and uh, Art communication function is a library, also um, citizens gallery and it means a public gallery, and, and a cafe and uh, um, those kind of you know theater. This kind of place is uh, free to enter, open four and uh, nine o'clock to and uh, ten o'clock in the evening. This uh, access whole street. You can see uh, what this diagram means, and uh, finally. Because uh, to reach this diagram, we spend two years almost. But uh, this diagram highly responding to uh, the concept, how the people are uh, moving, also what the relations between outside and inside. Also, and uh, most important things, what uh, also characteristic uh, Sana just coined, and. Uh, about uh, their own new architecture form, which is new subjectivity. That means uh, Sana uh, make uh, new relations between private space and public space. Because an uh, idea is, for instance, uh, when you just uh, um, being in a picnic in the park, you know, there are several couples, also families, also some individuals uh, in the park. You can see and uh, from the next, you can get a feeling some somebody there, because and we understand we share this huge park. We are be together, but but we are doing by our individual things by ourselves. So this is a kind of the you know and uh, those kind of the private space, individual space, and uh, gradually gently connected to the public space. This is kind of ideas we already thinking about and uh, those kind of simulation how people get the feeling, not so much isolated, not so much, you know, and uh, separated from outside or the others, and uh, gently and uh, softly, and uh, we just be connected to others, also outside, but uh, we just keep our own independence. Those are uh, very sensitive and uh, operation, and uh, we're just thinking about that. This is facility list. It's a citizen's gallery. Anyone can, and, uh, um, apply and also without any kind of curation, also an, uh, direct, an, uh, directionship and uh, people can present their work, but not to, uh, avoiding a uh, one person show. It's only for group show. Also, theater. This is nursery rooms. This is atrium. Everything is transparent because, uh, you know, the, when people just uh, look at, pass by this auditorium, when you look at a very interesting kind of presentation because uh, in the board, because uh, people just enter. This is also invitation to the people. This is library. I just look at this museum library, also very beautiful. But then this is more kind of lounge because uh, it's somebody's uh, like a hotel, you know, uh, we just be relaxed, you know, we just listen to music, something like that. It's a lounge. So, and there's also library to be designed like this. Also, a uh, contemporary museum is always a uh, place for the production. That means, uh, you know, the corner of the you know property and uh, outside the museum, very near, and uh, we just put on uh, one studio, because artists and uh, always artists and uh, be there just to produce the artworks. But only weekend they just open the studio to talk to the people. Also, it's a quite important, and also here is an also beer and in this museum and uh, nearby. But also, this is small beer here. We just uh, transport a uh, traditional tea house because Kanazawa is very famous and a tea ceremony tradition. So we just brought a uh, very famous tea house here to just uh, um, also 
open to public to be used at tea ceremony. People just drinking tea look at this museum. You can see, and from one side, you can see the other. This is City Hall. Also, most important things are uh, how people look inside the museum. Because uh, what I'm talking with uh, Sanas is most important things, not the object, not the form of the space. Yes, they are very important, but it's most important things what happen inside. What the people's uh, experience, also how people look, look, how people look like, is very important for us. It's a kind of those kind of fact, event, behavior. So, so which is uh, those kind of time-based and uh, you know and uh, thought is uh, very much operate in this museum. So this is a collaboration Michael Ring, and a Taiwanese artist. He enlarged and a traditional kimono and a pattern from that region is a Kagayuzen, and uh, he just enlarged. And uh, Sanas make an, uh, you know collaboration, make uh, these chairs, because and, uh, this is one example. Probably here is uh, some kind of people interesting art. I heard about that. I just uh, make a little tip about art because. And, uh, also, and, uh, this uh, traditional pattern is uh, no one paying attention because it's uh, too ordinary for them. But uh, they just enlarge this pattern, the big and uh, like uh, big walls, and the people are aware. Wow, this is uh, some tradition from us. But then uh, transform these very contemporary manners. We really have to discover about this tradition, something like that. So this is uh, you can see and uh, this different proportion of the space. Because and, uh, also this is not uh, perfect because and, uh, you know you know the diversity of the what the contemporary art is because and particularly after nineteen nineties, many artists that the film also make a lot of kind of the raw materials like uh, water, sometimes uh, that uh, kind of mist, you know, also very much garbage like materials. Also, you know, and uh, and uh, paintings and uh, photographs and a lot of diversity is very, very, you know, and uh, rich and uh, contemporary art also lots of cause a lot of problem. But also soundproof, but sound is very important for nowadays. So that's why uh, each room is had to be considered about meat and uh, those kind of variation, also diversity to artworks, also keeping an uh, uh, soundproof and, uh, you know, distance. For instance, uh, this is one exhibition space, and uh, also here is uh, also this museum, very beautiful natural light, and uh, with the windows. But also this and uh, ceilings, but then uh, covered by frost grass. But then uh, you know this and, uh, and uh, we can get a uh, natural light from the top. But uh, there are rubbers, very much and uh, operated by program by the computer, and uh, keeping uh, such a you know and. Uh, the right light and uh, other lumens. There's a sensor and uh, the light is too strong and the rubber and, uh, automatically just closing. So that's uh, keeping a uh, certain, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, luminous and uh, kind of the data. So that is uh, very much and uh, very intelligent, you know, the system we just brought. Also inside the mixed and fluorescent light. So we just uh, supplied and some extra light from the top. But then uh, um, this is uh, the piece and uh, Gerda and Steiner, and a Swiss artist. They're working with uh, 100 uh, people from the city to they just uh, make a uh, workshop. 100 people make a uh, small object. He just uh, hanging the from ceilings. So this is also the, like a uh, collaboration or to participate. This is Ernesto Neto. Also people just enjoy very much and uh, physically and uh, to just bring awareness. This is a. Uh, um, collaboration with scientist, gardener, and the media artist. They just uh, thought about uh, those kind of you know assumption, and uh, orchid talk each other. Everywhere, Sana can be exhibition space. It's a Sarazi make a commission. Also, this is a uh, public space. Also, corridors used an uh, exhibition space like this. Uh, this is Ise Miyake, famous Japanese uh, designer, and. Uh, you can, it's a familiar, so you can see, this is the pram of the museum, architecture pram. From architecture pram, he make a dress. This is the dress. You can wear the museum. 
So this is also another, you know, psychological approaches and uh, just to remove and uh, certain you know, objection, certain and uh, obstacle about hierarchy to the museum. Because and also it's very important. It's not only kind of simply and uh, um, make a transparent and simply make a horizontal structure. Because we just uh, do a lot of kind of you know invitation to talk to the people. Here is a place for you. It's connected your everyday life. That also activated. Museum activated the people because and contemporary art is an, uh, our time. So because and also contemporary art is very important to be activated, also interpreted, also nurtured by people. This is a sound work and an artist group and uh, they collecting sound over the world. Some of the sound is raining and from rainforest, and uh, some sound is come from street music. A lot of. Also very important and uh, kind of ideas and the commission work. When I talk to is a uh, very great architect and uh, you know Oscar Niemeyer and uh, before he died and I uh, made interviews and uh, with him. What he said is art is more important and uh, for the kind of interrelation in relation with an architect because uh, with art without art you know and uh, um, means uh, you know, not about museum. Also, an architect and conceived the art always, because he just talking about because and, uh, the architect and uh, the place where the people meet, which is very important. It should be with art. So that his comment that was very quite moving, very impressive for me. So that and, uh, um, in the process of making uh, you know um, buildings and uh, we just started to work with an uh, artist. This is a swimming pool, extremely popular piece by Leander Ehrlich, Argentinian artist. This is from bottom. This is a gimmick. The water is just 10 centimeters depth. But then, uh, uh, you just get a ticket, um, buy a ticket, and uh, enter the um, exhibition galleries. In the galleries, and uh, there's the stairs down, also elevators, and uh, you can reach to the bottom through the tunnel. This is also, you know, and uh, some ideas. And uh, this is uh, free, and uh, people can enter by free. But uh, just to go to bottom, people have to pay. Uh, this is also some economy. And this, uh, but uh, this piece is uh, given a lot of kind of you know, pleasure for the people because when you go to the museum, you always look at the public sculpture, so called. But it's always the same form. But even if just given a different reflection, different um, projection by your psychology, but it's a, the sculpture is always the same. But this uh, kind of um, artworks, it's a kind of, the, you know, and uh, give us a different kind of experience for you. So every time, Sana, you know, rainy day or sunny day, Sana, also the person you and uh, come and uh, with and uh, together because uh, it depends on the you who you come with and uh, visit and uh, with whom, your friend also your lovers your kind of, you know mothers, and uh, each each time has uh, you know this piece and give a different experience, which attracted people very much. That means and uh, I found the most important things and uh, potential ability of the creation inside the people, not artworks itself. So people found their ability, also their sensitivity, their emotion, their intellectual understanding from themselves and from inside themselves. This is James Terrell and a sky space. You can look at and cut the sky, and uh, this is open because then also inside, outside. This part is uh, almost outside. This is Anish Kapoor, and you know this piece, and it's a big void. Looks like a bottomless infinity inside. This is Patrick Brown. He's a botanist. Also, he make a large and a, uh, green walls and a Kebrandi in Paris. Um, because and, uh, what his idea is, it looks like a, you know just a weed, also grasses and uh, very normal. But when you look at these drawings, this is amazing polyphonic ideas. Hundred different kind of plants to be planted to be together. So and uh, when you look at 
and we're just uh, walking on uh, Patrick Brown and uh, with a uh, uh, mountain nearby the city because he has an amazing guy. For him, he identify this is uh, this plant, this, 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 all the different. But for us, it uh, looks same. But then uh, it's uh, you know um, also with this and uh, um, vertical garden and uh, give us a lot of ideas. What are polyphonic ideas? We are all the different, but be together, be coexist. This is also quite important ideas and a collection because and, uh, you know when I working with an architect and uh, in the process of producing a museum, and an architect have to know about what kind of artworks, what and the kind of collection to be inside. Uh, we just constantly we just build that collection from zero and uh, to three hundred before the opening, and uh, all the process be shared and. Uh, Sanas also other and the people working for the museum have to know about what we have, what's going to be installed. I just quickly finished. So and, uh, all these processes are uh, quite you know and uh, important for me because and uh, we are talking a lot about um, because and uh, some of the most and uh, important things also Sana. I just look back because and uh, most and uh, difficult things. If you are architect, because our dialogue is not so peaceful, always uh, we are fighting, we are discussing, because the most of the important things. This, because and, uh, uh, as the architect, and uh, they also much consider about the form. They are not form maker, but uh, they consider the form. Because and, uh, we have to, the, we are curator have to compromise a lot about, because and they much concern about all the entire exterior building at this form, because and, uh, you know if uh, one gallery should be uh, more, more than uh, five meters left, but they doesn't want to, because uh, they just want to keep on uh, a certain kind of you know proportion of the beauty also kind of composition of this form. This is most important part to be discussing with them, just for your information. So we are not going to uh, injure each other. So this is, sorry. Because uh, this museum become very popular because none of them knows uh, contemporary art, but in uh, uh, years, uh, uh, million, more than a million people come, start to come. Because uh, the question is, uh, um, it doesn't matter if they know about what is contemporary art or not. People just enjoy to come to the museum to see and uh, something, look at something new, which is never ever and uh, seen before. So this is a kind of place. I just uh, shifting and uh, other you know languages which Sanas and uh, um, developing. This is a uh, model of the Trado. It's a grass museum in United States. It's a trade or it's an, uh, you know, uh, one hour and a flight from Chicago, the city. This is an uh, exterior, also very simple and only ground floor. So look at this. This is a workshop and uh, all the kinds of, the, you know, pottery and uh, the workers and also craftsmen make, an, uh, you know, grasses. It's like a hot shop, yeah, to be, be seen. Also, when you look at this, because and, uh, this layer of the grasses and uh, give you a very special experience. Because you, when you approach this museum, you just look at yourself also again, and uh, you know you look at and uh, reflecting landscape also and uh, outside trees. Also again, you look at and uh, people inside because uh, you just lose ideas what this reality is. Because and, uh, this is very much also ideas, our experience, our perception, and uh, what the virtuality, what the reality is. Because a lot of layers and those kind of virtuality realities overlapped. So this is, an, uh, um, also Sana is very aware of that, what the perception, what the, our visual desire, what our bodies conceived, those kind of virtuality, also physicality as a reality. Yeah, look at this, because uh, sometimes dangerous, because uh, people losing idea what the real space. 
it's very kind of the you know and uh, like a video images like a virtual images as an experience i just uh, shifting on uh, another project is uh, more kind of the you know local project in jima it's an island when you look at this island it's a part of the setochi island inland sea and the west part of japan and uh, the island is very small and uh, you can walk on only one hour also, the island is uh, quite critical. You can see this is a place. This is a place here. This project is uh, conceived by Venice Art Foundation because uh, also they are kind of educational business, but uh, they are much concerned about uh, culture. And uh, this island is uh, only kind of 50 and, uh, families live. Most of the people is an uh, over 70 years old. Maybe in one, 10 years, you know, this uh, um, island is going to be no man's island. The community will be disappear. So and, uh, the CEO of the foundation think about because uh, how we activate, also revitalize this island to be other, you know, platform for the creation, inviting young people. So this project started from this intention. Yeah, you can look at the project. Here are, here. Here's uh, one project. Also the other project, okay. This other project here. Also, sorry, and uh, this project here. This project here. We just walk around like this. They just invited my client and uh, the CEO of the uh, president of the foundation. I just uh, propose because uh, we have to uh, make a uh, different shape of the gallery, like a pavilion, and uh, to and, uh, make a more kind of the democratic place where the people can access part of their life. So this is uh, uh, this is uh, kind of the project we propose. Some of the, you know, I just invited the Kazuyo again because I understand after Kanazawa, we really think about how we develop this project more in a democratic shape or talk to the very ordinary people. And also art can be part of their, their ordinary life. It is very important. Because again, there is some kind of sculpture to be in a, a public sculpture located outside. Because nowadays, and many artists are not making a monumental sculpture. They're using a more ephemeral materials. But how we protect this kind of ephemeral material, um, materialistic installation, and uh, to conceive in a concept. And uh, those kind of, you know, and uh, um, kind of the sustainability, also maintenance, also existence artworks, is very also part of the you know aim of the this and uh, project. I just showing up. This is actual situation. This is renovation project. Uh, re renovation project. Uh, Kazuyo's make a uh, two courtyard garden. Both side. This is inside. She just kept an uh, an uh, original structure, and uh, you know as much as possible, and uh, replace the new wood, some part. But both is very open. This is a kind of garden, just both sides. Yeah, this is a kind of little shrine, and uh, next to, on top of the mountain, hill. This and the first project is an uh, artist, young artist, Japanese artist, Kohei Nawa. I just going there on, and the concept is, and uh, it's like a uh, uh, big bam. It's a, uh, you know, and a uh, new birth of the new cosmos. So he just uh, make uh, this uh, sculpture to be dialogue with architecture structure. Also, this is a kind of the, you know, place for new uh, animals, new creatures growing. Also, this place is uh, new plants and uh, uh, coming out. So this is a kind of his uh, an, uh, concept. Also, he's uh, responding about architecture. This is an uh, outside project. Also, some of the uh, pavilions, the gallery, is very much like a uh, sculpture shape itself. 
because when I explain you, and uh, some of the artists very much using uh, ephemeral materials doesn't fit for the outside sculpture. But and uh, you just make uh, this and uh, pavilions and uh, this and uh, very kind of sensitive, also interesting and uh, uh, installation can be stay because and uh, now it's an. Uh, after this, and uh, the three years passed, and uh, just and uh, you know, but this piece is and uh, um, stay and uh, you know, very perfect condition. This is lenses and a uh, ten thousand lens. Yeah, make an uh, installation by very young artist. She's twenty six years old woman. Also another um, galleries pavilions. Also same woman artist made. She just put together flower petals, make this landscape, flower landscape. Also, it's very important and uh, how those kind of installation also shape the pavilions, make a dialogues and outside. This is the original house, other houses, the structure, this one. Yeah, also these artists make, uh, you know, and films by people living in the island. They're casting all the kind of island uh, residents and uh, the part of this is films. So that, uh, you know, and uh, one of the um, examples and uh, how, you know, we just make, uh, you know, um, new abstraction and uh, interpretation, but and, uh, this becomes dependent location, dependent stuff we could find. Not only hyper conceptual, not only hyper modern, contemporary, and we just mixed and uh, those kind of, you know, um, transformed the existing historical materials into the contemporary manners, put in a new art program. This is one example, very simple, and uh, um, how history is going to be shown in the museum. Because uh, this is a uh, Louvre Lance, and uh, uh, it's a kind of branch museum, it's a Louvre Museum in Paris. But Lens is an, uh, kind of very, kind of the industrial city, it's a coral mine there, because it's not like a uh, you know, big city in Paris. But uh, it's very, uh, um, Geographically, and uh, it's very important part of the you know traffic and uh, um, transportation crossing point. So this is a city you can look at how the museum to be relevant to the structure, this housing, the museum shape like this, yeah. Because and uh, you can look at an uh, exteriors, you know, reflection the landscape, the cityscape. Most important part is uh, because uh, there's a grand gallery. It's almost a uh, 200 and, uh, meters gallery, and uh, you know, grand gallery, because uh, showing and uh, 3,000 years art history from Egypt to 19th century Dracor. So and uh, um, they are kind of those kind of history of art, also history of the human beings, also our cultures and how we going to be shown. Because the uh, most important things, and uh, I just invited and uh, give advice and uh, about this grand gallery. Because when I looked at the first plan, because uh, this is big plan, big gallery, but it's like a convention center because wall was just white, because and uh, like a 300 big big space, a rectangular. What going to be? It uh, looks quite boring space. Looks like, but I just and uh, make uh, some suggestion. Just forget about white wall make this reflective wall. If you cannot hang anything, this wall, but you can see the people as the paintings. So, which is uh, it's, uh, quite important ideas. Within 3,000 years cultural journey, people can see themselves with artworks. People moving and uh, they make much aware they are part of the history. So this is uh, also this and uh, a new kind of invention, the gadget, and a uh, kind of combination with a different kind of little walls, also pedestals, and uh, according and uh, you know variation of the you know object on the sculpture paintings. This is very various. So just to be located and uh, you know placement and uh, the center. 
So this is totally new ideas. Look at. So I think uh, this uh, gallery is uh, quite enormous success, also interesting. Because uh, not only my advice, because uh, Sana is uh, realized also all these kind of the, you know, and uh, um, local designers and uh, working very well about this with uh, Louvre's curators, this design. Like this. So that's why it's, uh, you could, man and uh, I just give an under some understanding and uh, what this idea is, but then uh, what's happening inside the space, and uh, what the experience, and uh, what the emotion, what is uh, kind of the, you know, information, also knowledge we produce inside the space, which is most an uh, important thing to be considered at this moment. Not talking about an uh, old design, also proportion, lighting, so it, it's okay. This is very, also to be, and very important to be considered. But it's most important things, what be inside, what happened and, uh, in the people's mind, also those kind of intellectual creation. Uh, just shifting, uh, Simusen, how much I have time? Simusen, I have time to five or five, five minutes. Eh, uh, 15, hi. Okay, I just quick. Sorry, I'm just talking a lot about um, This is a flower house, and uh, if you know, but this house is actual house. No walls, no column, yeah, because this is a private house. It's a, a half-size models. Only this part is and you have a wall, toilet, yeah, because, <laughs> yes, because and, uh, this and client living in the Swiss, in the forest, they have big and uh, kind of heavy house with wood and stone. They fed it up to live in. They need uh, some light or a more kind of nice house to make a dialogue with an environment, big forest, only two and a person couples living there. So they know each other very well. So this is a completely make a dialogue and a, with an environment. This is a new way to how to live. Also Rolex Learning Center, because also these buildings, this is a learning center for the architecture, architecture stu school student. But the look at, like this also make a one landscape because uh, there's a courtyard, but a big one space. It's really one space because uh, inside the lot of function, I just want to remind you uh, my first uh, statement and uh, those kind of relations is uh, private, also public, and uh, how those kind of private rim also and uh, public rim and uh, to be gently connected. Because and this is we are only we share a big whole space, but uh, we do and uh, our own things. Because and when you looked at this floor, because floor is really carving, because and uh, maybe you scared that you just drop your pencil and how you just pick up the pencil, so it's uh, rolling down. So but uh, that's your fault, not an architecture fault. This is way to thinking. Also, some people just criticize how the wheelchair people do that. Because also for the wheelchair people, so, uh, they, they make a special kind of steps to make it uh, moving safely. So these are ideas. But uh, it's very relevant, uh, you know, landscape, you know, around. Look at this. Also, the idea is and uh, quite important sound, because and uh, when you this is a, it's a kind of hill, because uh, you just uh, somebody talking over the hill, the sound is not come here because and uh, hills and uh, you know working and uh, as a kind of sound and uh, um, kind of the you know uh, absorber. So that's why, Sana, you know, we're just talking about this, and you're just scared only one space, and how much sound is loudly to intermix, not. Because and, uh, with this, and, uh, you know, and uh, um, very various form of the floor, Sana, sound will be well protected, will be, and, uh, you know, and, uh, uh, inside uh, certain areas, not call an uh, interference much. This is also really discovery for me, yeah. So this is quite amazing place. I just uh, skip this, yeah. Also, this is also 
And uh, Sana's project, and uh, this is uh, my kind of project in Sharjah, it's Emirates, and I made a biennial. I just invited and uh, five architects make a project. But anyway, so this is also very interesting how the architect and uh, make a large scale and uh, installation, it's uh, like a sculptor, but also ideas, a new model of the, you know, courtyard. That also very much conceptual ideas and uh, artist can, art architect can show. This is quite amazing technology. Yeah. I just uh, shifting other, you know, Sana schools, Junior Ishigami. And uh, Junior Ishigami, is, and, uh, he's also very much a uh, promised architect. And uh, now he just become in the mid of the 30s and uh, still very young. And uh, this is his debut work, a table. Because when you look at the table, this is 10 meters, but only this foot. And a uh, very, very thin and uh, steel plate on the table. Because when you look at, this is a quite an amazing and a collaboration with an uh, um, kind of structure engineer. And uh, look at, and, uh, you just put on uh, some many things. Looks like a floating. So that means, and, uh, you know, Junya Ishigami has a particular ideas because, and uh, he said, what is architect uh, role is? What uh, the purpose in architecture? Because, and, uh, you know, Architect and uh, have to create a space to change the people's perception, also people's consciousness, and uh, transform the people's and uh, experience. That an uh, architect role that he said. This all the according to all these ideas, he just created this balloon. It's a uh, you know 16 meters height and eight meters square, but the uh, aluminium structure is one ton. You know inside and he just put the helium gas. That they floating and rolling up. Uh, is there anything just to help me the videos? Video. Hi. This is quite amazing project. It's like an, uh, look at the uh, imagine that the four stories building is floating. Can I break? Hi. Yes. <laughs> the videos. It's, it's an architect. This cost uh, 200,000 uh, uh, euro almost. If uh, this not uh, floating up, you know, we discussing about we have to escape before the opening, so something like that. So that is the situation. But it's uh, successfully, it's uh, just uh, floating. We are very happy. Okay, yes. Because uh, now this is a part of the exhibition which I curated, and many various uh, artists, also architect, also filmmaker, also designer, space of future, and uh, each and uh, and uh, creators and uh, just to propose their own kind of what images and the future spaces. That was a show. Also, this is uh, also again and uh, Junya Ishigami, and uh, this is uh, Kanagawa Institute of Technology, Kite. And which is very important that the uh, order is uh, placement layout of these pillows, columns. Look at this. This dot part is an uh, pillow part. You know, that's much relevant to uh, those kind of forest trees. He just look at an uh, order of the forest, the trees, how the trees and uh, be dispersed and how tree be planted. In order to, and uh, you know, relevant on the outside, he just bringing ideas order of the plants into the you know, layout of the pillows. This is also another understanding how he just uh, you know, and, uh, responding to the nature environment. This is another also Junya Ishigami, and uh, he just won the prize. He just make a uh, very invisible architecture and uh, with a uh, carbon you know, thread. It's almost impossible to stand, but he won the Golden Lion Prize because uh, these uh, structures and stay only in the morning where the jury group just look at that. So in the afternoon, <laughs> it's collapsed. Yes. 
So, so sometimes he's a super lucky man, you know, but, uh, but it's uh, quite amazing if you look at this structure, it's uh, standing, not uh, hanging from the ceilings, yeah. This is Tetsuya Kondo, and uh, he's just using uh, wood. Also, Tetsuya Kondo, is, uh, he's also one part of the sauna. He just uh, rely on these trees, trees and a part of the structure. This also same ideas and uh, comes up to and, uh, this and, uh, uh, bridge and uh, just, you know, like this shape. Because uh, this is collaboration with uh, trans and uh, um, trans and uh, um, it's an uh, um, kind of environment engineer. And they just uh, create uh, crowds because, uh, you know, they make uh, some difference in uh, temperature, 15 degrees, and uh, bottom and up. So it's uh, almost uh, 3.5 meters height, the crowd appeared, like this. Almost, uh, you know, I just want to uh, um, kind of, you know, propose the ideas because what architecture is, because uh, the people in the virtual internet and world, also people using world in architecture, also crowd architecture. Now it's uh, so many and uh, world is an uh, architecture to be everywhere. So that means uh, we really consider about what architect, what architecture means. You know, it's a quite interesting time nowadays. That's why it's, uh, I just uh, kind of you know, suggest you to and uh, um, think about and uh, interrelated to an uh, architecture and uh, information, data, and and uh, virtual and uh, you know forms. So. This is uh, another structure which we made in Tokyo. Uh, we just uh, designed this. Yeah, this is a small crowd come. I just want to uh, present other, you know, an uh, architect, and uh, So Fujimoto. And uh, you must uh, look at the uh, Serpentine Gallery Pavilions, and, uh, you know, designed by So. Because So Fujimoto is a uh, very interesting languages, and uh, um, his uh, parents and father is a psychiatrist because also and uh, he just uh, think about lots of kinds of, you know and uh, psychological you know and uh, affect and uh, also spec effect and to the people's mind and uh, through his project but then uh, this is a house he designed because uh, this is uh, kind of, you will look at the furniture, also structure, almost uh, you cannot define uh, which is the furniture, what is the structure of the buildings. Also room is overlapped, also very uh, labyrinthic and a complicated way, but a certain composition, which is quite interesting. Also this is uh, also another way to and uh, certain kind of spaces and uh, between outside and inside. You cannot define which is outside, which is inside, like this. Also, there's uh, other, you know, his works in a project in uh, Musashino Art University. This is library. You can look at uh, which is walls, and walls going to be a bookshelf, which uh, the bookshelf not used, but the design the structure, but some part is used. Look at that. Also, this is a Serpentine Gallery Pavilions, and uh, you know, it's very beautifully made. Also, the um, Fujimoto is uh, very much considered about uh, his uh, interpretation about uh, structure, geometric order, and how he learned from nature. So how you, he transformed, he make a new abstraction from the, his uh, observation of the nature. So this is also quite interesting to look at. Because and uh, each those kind of you know Japanese architect and uh, very much and uh, concerned about and uh, make a dialogues and uh, between and uh, you know environment that was says a natural environment social environment and uh, psychological environment make a relationships and also to be and uh, bringing and uh, their thought also their and uh, um, kind of you know and uh, constructed design and uh, affected the people's uh, behavior, also people's act. Uh, this is young architect uh, Hirata Akihisa, and uh, he's a pupil of Ito Toyo, and uh, also very much, very organic uh, shape, you know, and uh, 
um, this uh, like a crimes and pot, you know, looks like. And uh, he just also do it and a lot of these uh, small modules and uh, different composition. Also, this is another way to and, uh, uh, interpreting about uh, those kind of new geometry from the learning from nature. Yeah, this is the pavilions and uh, which he made for a museum, sponsored by Bloomberg. I just uh, shifting and uh, another you know important uh, schools at the Atelier Bauwau. Because the three Bauhaus and also conceived and, uh, two architect man and woman, um, Tsukamoto and Kaizuka, Kaijima. So and uh, they also based on a lot of research in the city, but uh, it's totally different way. When you look at the house here, like this, because the Tokyo is so you know difficult to find a place. Because then, uh, you know, and uh, how you surviving in uh, such a small, tiny spaces and uh, with a lot of kind of program, also variation of the space, you know, and uh, they just uh, and thinking about and uh, to creating their own architecture program to and, uh, make a uh, form. So, which is uh, they started and uh, look at observation, what a tiny, small and uh, structure or the building in the space could be surviving to be used how, and uh, they published a book. Pet architecture is very interesting. Pet architecture ideas, but uh, from those kind of research, they just created their own kind of you know this building. That is their studio. Look at this. Hi, how people live together? Yes, <laughs> they living on uh, you know upper floor. Yeah, uh, then downstairs and uh, it's a studio. Also, you know, Logment collection. This are just uh, this is apartment project, Roger, because and uh, you know this part is and uh, those kind of balcony. Also, the spaces uh, say called Roger. It's uh, in between sticking out the places like and balconies and uh, they just uh, uh, try to make an uh, characters buildings and uh, with uh, put on a lot of variations and those kind of different type of Roger. Yeah, look at this. It's very interesting, and uh, each kind of place is different size, also different kind of intervention into the space, make uh, some character. Also, people can choose, you know, whatever their kind of public and uh, the dialogue space and the public space to be outside, how they talk each other and uh, between this kind of logia. This is another, you know, interesting project they made at the Labo and uh, collaborated at the Guggenheim and uh, Museum. Because at uh, the first, they just started this project. They found an uh, in-between places in the building in New York, and uh, they just make uh, some temporary spaces. Also in Europe, and there are many projects like this, but then, uh, they just also do in a very practical, very uh, improvised way which is very nice. Look at this, very simple structure. Also, lots of event and happen and, uh, underneath this and, uh, temporary structure, like this. Because and, uh, this kind of flexibility also upon the based on the what the program happened, because and, uh, it's minimum necessity to be and, uh, you know, required, because and they just uh, very, and, uh, uh, apply and also responding to those kind of, you know, and uh, uh, kind of architecture is you a know, program to what the necessity, what event, what behaviors happen there. So that, uh, you know, is uh, quite interesting. It's so, so this, uh, you know, project also in Asia, very simple, the same ideas, publication. And so this is, uh, you know, um, another version of the same project in, uh, in Guggenheim. And uh, the same project in, uh, in Mumbai, and uh, this and happened like this shape, like this. Like this. So this is, uh, sorry, I have to finish. Hi, I think so, yes. Oh, 
um, because and, uh, I have to and, uh, conclude my and, uh, project because and, uh, this is uh, just the kind of the, you know and uh, extra uh, matters because and, uh, it's also very important and uh, um, Japan is in uh, 2011 and uh, we have a uh, big earthquake also disasters and also nuclear and power plant destruction also a lot of kind of pollution and uh, started from there people still suffering so at that time so, and, uh, so many artists also architects and uh, uh, thinking about what they can do, particularly architect and uh, uh, thinking about and uh, very practical, you know, support, because and uh, uh, major, you know, thought and uh, government and uh, they just thinking about, they just uh, quickly talking with a construction company, make a very simple prototype and uh, you know houses, housing is uh, you know almost in a unit uh, house and provide start providing people, but and. Uh, um, some architects really oppose that because and, uh, we really have to think about and uh, on this occasion what a house, what a project, what, what is a um, public space and uh, be together for the people, what a property to save the people's and, uh, mental and uh, their life condition. There's a serious um, discussion and uh, happen between architects. Architect and uh, make and some associates and uh, the leader Toyo Ito, also another group of the people is an uh, um, Atori Bauer and uh, made and uh, worked with Arcade, which is quite an amazing project. They did it. This is a kind of project also I made with an, uh, um, 10 architecture school students. They made these models. This white part is an, uh, all the um, demolished and uh, deconstructed by tsunami, this white part, because uh, all, everything is gone. So this is a uh, kind of uh, almost a uh, very kind of very sad, beautiful monument and what the architecture student made for just presenting and how the disasters and uh, be horrible, also quite tough and uh, to effect to the people. But uh, this is uh, everything white part is uh, kind of under the water. So this is a kind of the, sorry, this is on the Japanese, but then uh, you know, a number of the, the projects happen and uh, be people's house, but uh, different and uh, architect and uh, contribute also working with uh, local people. And they just started discussing with uh, local people and uh, talking about what the uh, house is uh, when a public place is be people be together with a proper design for the people, also environment all those kind of different styles. It's a for the place for children. Also the children and, uh, give uh, drawings and uh, they just discuss together. Also another thing, the sauna. Yeah, this is a way to make a drawings and talking to people. Also different type of the things. Also, this is a way to how you look at that because and it's uh, quite amazing and uh, very difficult because look at this line, you know, you the drawings and all the kind of the parties are destructive like this, you know. How you make uh, your new houses after this because just people thinking about what the resources they have. They just watching trees, also make a, uh, you know, fisherman's life, you know, what's uh, necessary, so all the kind of process and starting. Those kind of Atri Bauer started about this. But anyway, so it's really timing up. So I just uh, concluded my, um, sorry, my presentation, because uh, um, you might uh, understand, because uh, they are not uh, so much spectacular, visible, even the light, very, you know, something looks fragile, and uh, so very much, very conceptual base looks like. But uh, the most uh, important things uh, to consider about relation, also research, also listening to people, also make their own kind of the abstraction transformation from those resources, also um, uh, stakeholders and a statement into the, you know, their own kind of program, also turn to be at the architecture form. So this is a very ongoing project. Most important things and uh, behavior event, also, you know, what the people lives also experience, how the architect and, uh, um, bring a new experience to the people, also new way of the thinking. That means that uh, all those architect approaches very much relevant and uh, kind of conceptual, sociopolitical artists 
now doing and uh, in uh, contemporary life. This is my conclusion. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Yuko. Um, perhaps I will, I will uh, ask you to come uh, nearby. Thank you very much for your very interesting talk and very rich presentation. Um, Thank you. Hi. Hi. Thank you. So, um, before I uh, ask the audience if they have questions or comments to do, uh, perhaps uh, I'll say thank you once more. I think it was very, very rich and you gave very different and very rich examples of this relationship also between art and architecture. Um, I felt that. Um, there was uh, like a kind of continuity uh, in all these different uh, projects that for me it had to do also with uh, uh, this idea of uh, how the uh, architects think about people's experience uh, in this last project of Atelier Bauhaus, uh, you mentioned in this the dialogue with uh, with the people in this idea of designing for the people and also in this uh, first project you showed that I, I found it was amazing this uh, 21st century museum of contemporary art in uh, Kanazawa Kanazawa uh, where uh, I really felt that there was a kind of thought about how the architecture can help uh, public engagement in a in a museum uh, so, I don't know if you want to comment on this, just to give some time uh, uh, to the house and to... No, because I'm just to present uh, any question, because uh, I hope uh, it's uh, just, uh, just uh, showing many kinds of the, you know, pictures, and, uh, you know, and uh, uh, sorry, and, uh, I take a long time, you must be very exhausted, so if you have so many <laughs> questions, you know, uh, if you miss something, or just uh, further information, you know. Portanto, abrimos já uh, as vossas questões. Podem fazer em português, em inglês. Portanto, como as far as my mission is a cultural ambassador is and promoting Japanese culture, please come to Japan, you know, look at uh, this island project. It's very good. I can make a tour for you. It's a nice kind of event together. Hi, right, lunchbox, yes. <laughs> Oh, because and I just entry point and curiosity how people live, but also there's some common and you can share with your situation, you know. And uh, uh, I cannot say this is everything to be much, and you know, you can share with that's a reality, also your necessity. But in some parties, and I hope we can share. Also, I learned and from many things about Europe, also from this museum. So, and uh, you know, this is a real kind of dialogue. So, what is uh, we can going to be and in the future? So, what a proposal. What that makes life better? Hi, question. So, então, alguma questão, comentário, uh, algo queiram partilhar? Sim. Vou vos pedir para usar o, o microfone. Vamos a registrar. Yes, um, I have uh, one question about uh, this kind of way of designing of uh, social democratic the way that um, all the citizens participate uh, to make architecture. But I think on uh, one hand there is a kind of danger um, to make everybody happy. Uh, architecture itself will come to be very democratic, it means a um, bit weak. I mean, the, uh, once the, no, almost the architect decide everything, and um, the citizen just follow what they what they do, whatever they do. But uh, nowadays uh, we have to have some kind of consensus of uh, all the citizens. But uh, some I can see some architect like uh, Kazuo Sejima can maintain uh, maintain their her own very strong character, even collaborating with the citizen. 
what is the kind of technique or what kind of the um, the way they can make a balance between their own character and uh, to make a democratic and uh, a democratic architecture yeah uh, that's very an uh, an uh, good question because then also and uh, i have to and uh, uh, show one good example because i don't have any picture and uh, for instance like uh, you know and uh, um, one example I just uh, uh, explained because uh, you know I just showing uh, some kind of first uh, woman dormitory because uh, all the people just complain me because we have to wake, walk around to reach the toilet. But uh, this is some kind of discipline. You just uh, you have to uh, um, get rid of this kind of new experience, even if you know it's uh, uncomfortable or not. So. That means uh, sometimes very hard to just uh, to be used into the you know their those kind of architecture you know new ideas unique kind of space because uh, sometimes it's really kind of the new kind of the, you know and uh, um, it's a, it's a very much you know kind of the some and uh, some kind of the, you know sometimes it's good sometimes very difficult for the people to use the, for instance like uh, honestly say it's, uh, some apartment and. Uh, and the sun designed, I thought that only young people can live. And it's older people, it's very difficult to live because, uh, you know, and uh, they make an, uh, an toilet and, uh, you know, to go to the toilet and they just go outside to pass the uh, garden to into the, you know, courtyard garden into the toilet, something like that. It's uh, some, and a very cold winter, so it's almost impossible. But an uh, old Japanese house and something like that. But uh, it's, um, uh, there are many kinds of, you know, and uh, those kind of things, and uh, you know, new space, and uh, um, just forced you, and uh, you know, and uh, kind of, the, you know, and uh, get rid of the new way to how you can use, and how you have to change, and uh, it's always and uh, kind of, the, you know, forced to be some experience and discipline. So experience is and uh, kind of, the, you know, and uh, do meanings because, and uh, you know, sometimes very tough experience, sometimes very pleasurable experience. So this is an. Uh, in every case, it's uh, different. So I can say it's everything very successful, but in some cases, it's very successful at a certain point. Because that means, uh, you know, when I talk to a democracy, democracy means, uh, you know, when you enter this space, you can have uh, the same experience, but you are responding, your kind of transformation inside could be different, diverse. So, so and, uh, it's not kind of, the, you know, and, uh, um, the same, and, uh, Ideas and uh, with uh, 20 beginning 20th century modernism, which uh, Frank Lloyd Wright, Luke Corbett, and uh, try to and uh, give the people the same experience, same standard life. It's a completely different. So this is my thought. Yeah, that's also relevant. And uh, you know, my as uh, my understanding and uh, what the artistic creation, artistic creation same because artists and uh, create one world, one works. But then, uh, and, uh, all the kind, each person has a totally different kind of understanding, different interpretation. That answer is uh, different. So this all this, it, uh, it's uh, quite relevant to those kind of artworks and the creation process. And uh, now the, those kind of contemporary architect, which I mentioned. Because and I cannot deny that uh, such a great an uh, architect like uh, you know, to and uh, Ban san toka, sorry, as a you know very authentic and uh, architect uh, Kuma san toka, yes, and uh, those are uh, very much ongoing, yeah. But uh, this is other you know new kind of tendency phenomena. Also, I found this uh, this kind of it's very interesting because uh, the people are uh, so much attractive, too much try to make an experience. That's also very interesting. Look at. It's not just a kind of the, you know, and uh, having a comfort to be in a peaceful place they used to. So this is also interesting. Yeah. Alguma questão, comentário? I have a question which is connected to the pre previous question. So. I think that in Japan, most of the houses are uh, made by some, ki some kind of prefabrication process, where you say you somehow put the needs of the people and put the space and something like that, and uh, some computer or something like that brings out the, the project. Do you think that that will be the future of architecture? I think, sorry, what's your question? So, sorry, just uh, to, to make sense. Like, 
Uh, okay. So I think that many of the houses in Japan nowadays, they are made uh, in prefabrication systems. Most of the houses? I think. Uh, which I mentioned, these people? No, 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 not, not connected to your presentation. Oh, yeah, right, right, yeah. Yes. So there are many big companies who are prefabricating the houses yes. and they have a model and people just use that model. Prefabrication houses? Yeah. Can explain each of these. <laughs> yes, uh, because they make also they are much cheaper and also much quicker. So that's also it's uh, you know they are very welcome. Also, um, those kind of companies and make uh, those kind of houses. Also, they make uh, a lot of kind of variation. Also, their own kind of program. They just uh, according on uh, a uh, client you know requirement. They just make a uh, different kind of component. So that also they are developing. But uh, pre-publication is uh, you know it's very highly developed. But uh, it's uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's very stereotyped in many ways. Yeah. Yeah. So my question was. Yes. Do you think that in the future we are going to see only that kind of pref prefabrication and some kind of computer designed house or do you think there will be some still some space for for free some someone somebody freely designed the house and Yeah you so talking about the the, you you're talking about in Japan or world Yeah well, I think Japan J Japan is the, just the first the first place where it will appear then it will spread all over the world yeah, because uh, I cannot say it's a statistic, but uh, um, kind of, you know, many uh, people, just a particular young generation, and uh, you know, under 40 years old, and uh, they just bought uh, some kind of apartment flat, and they try to renovate uh, by themselves with the architect. Because uh, it's on uh, many uh, architects now engaged in uh, those kind of um, renovation, not only on, uh, you know, new construction. Because that means uh, they are not, uh, you know, and uh, satisfied and those kind of prefabricated and houses. They really want to uh, their own kind of, you know, and uh, space environment by their own kind, according to their taste. This is also new tendency. Yeah. So that I cannot say, uh, one can kind of statics how much and uh, how much going to be. Yeah. I think that then we are back to the, to the problem of the previous question. So the yes. architect does not have a role anymore, and it is the owner who decides how to design it. No, no, because an owner doesn't have any kind of the, you know, and uh, kind of the, you know, and uh, technical ideas. Owner just explain their vision, but then uh, you know, architect and uh, just an. Uh, Kind of the you know very important role is uh, how they mediate and how they make an interpretation and uh, create uh, those kind of an uh, architecture form. Also, this uh, need uh, some mathematics. Also, you know, they need uh, some geometric abstraction in the process. It's not so easy. So that's my point. Yeah, it's a kind of nice collaboration with an uh, an uh, you know client and uh, architect. Architect a very good listener. Also, you know, when you look at uh, the collaboration with uh, how curators, we are curators and make a museum together. So this is uh, one evidence because uh, we cannot make uh, any technical drawing. We can calculate any mathematics structure design, but an uh, architect can do. But also architect can uh, make uh, some lot of kind of comment also, you know, and a lot of proposal from that. It's a very mutual collaboration. Thank you. Mais alguma questão? Comentário? Algum. There's no more questions, so perhaps we'll uh, close the yes. session. Yes. Okay. okay, yes. So, uh, thank you very much again. Um, e obrigado também por uh, terem vindo, por estarem presentes. Uh, é uma, algo que me esqueci de referir no início é que esta conferência também uh, foi possível também com o apoio de, de, do Ministério da Cultura Japonês. Uh, eu convido-vos a visitarem o nosso site e a verem as próximas conferências Novas Perspectivas e também a restante programação. Uh, já temos algumas planeadas mais para, para, seguir, para, para seguir ao ao verão, para novembro, portanto, espero ver-vos novamente. Obrigado e uma boa noite. Muito obrigada.
Obrigada.